Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming and Day 18 of RPG A Day. The question for today is which innovation could RPG groups most benefit from? This is a question I suppose I'm going to answer somewhat egotistically. I believe the greatest innovation that RPG groups could benefit from is what I did with the Vampire the Masquerade YouTube experiment. While I didn't stick around as an administrator on that group for uh, terribly long because personally I found the involvement in it quite onerous, more so than I had anticipated, the uptake, the interest in playing this game, this living city connected entirely by the internet, by cameras, by webcams, by the internet, by being able to record your footage of your games and upload it onto YouTube so that other players could review it and respond to it in character was, well, I would hesitate to say revolutionary because that's a loaded word, but it was certainly pioneering at the time. That's, that's also a loaded word, but I hadn't seen anyone else doing this on this scale, and that's how we ended up with over 100 players within the first couple of weeks. Now, I would then say the argument that it didn't work for the most part was, one, the admins weren't prepared to actually put in the amount of time and work that was necessary to actually manage a community of that size, and I don't mean that as a detraction to the admins, we were not prepared for a group that size, there was no way to be prepared for a group that size or what it would demand. A substantial portion of the players were, I suppose you'd consider them betas or followers, uh, they were used to tabletop over LARP and therefore they expected to be led to plots and pointed in the plot's direction rather than playing their character and creating the plots themselves or creating plots by interacting with other characters and that left a lot of players sort of sitting around thinking well nothing's actually happening no one is telling me what to do uh, such as you may get in a tabletop role-playing game where the plot is often quite obvious but the idea is there, and the idea of being able to connect role players across borders is something that has always fascinated me, and I know it's something that since the days of Vampire the Masquerade, YouTube experiment has exploded. I mean, now you've got Roll20, now you have various mediums of communicating and playing with people internationally. But still, the idea of a living city or a living world, not necessarily restricted to World of Darkness, it could be a city in the Forgotten Realms and every single um, group has a different location or a different faction or a different religion or whatever. It's something that could expand and I feel should, but it's also the kind of thing that you probably need a paid model for. When I actually set up uh, VTMYTE, a lot of people did actually say to me, why aren't you charging people for this? The amount of work you're putting into it, you should actually be charging people to play so that you can actually spend the time necessary to put in. Honestly, it was just an idea of mine. I had no idea it would be as successful as it was and therefore didn't even consider charging people. And in retrospect, I still wouldn't have. It's not the kind of thing I'd want to do as a job. But some people might, and some people might pay for the privilege of being able to play with people online uh, whenever they want in a massive, in a sprawling community. Not too different to an MMORPG, but actually in person, you know, face-to-face -face via webcam. It's something that I see an awful lot of people online complaining they have no RPG group, and yet there's so many people online who are saying, I've got no RPG group. All you actually have to do is hook up by webcam to do it. So uh, while I would hesitate to say it's in its infancy, I would still say that the capacity to roleplay by webcam is actually something that hasn't been utilised to its fullest yet and still could and I'd be very interested to see where that goes and what you could do with various different games in that way. So yeah, that would be my answer to the question for day 18. Thank you very much for watching.